turning used carpet fibers, colored plastic containers, even cling wrap into virgin quality material. It sounds impossible, but it could happen. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sarah Diamond. And I'm Casey Marler. Scientists at Eastman say they are now able to do just that and process enough plastic each year to fill Neyland Stadium twice. It's all thanks to a process called modular recycling. News Channel 11's Katherine Simpson visited the plant and found out how the process works. Behind me is 100,000 pounds of plastic. Otherwise, you couldn't recycle it. But here at Eastman, it takes three hours to turn it into a new monomer. The world needs technology like this. The road to turning all this old plastic into new material starts here in mixed plastics processing. Engineer Spencer Tidwell says the plant collects materials ranging from toothbrush fibers to purge or waste from manufacturing processes. Thicker raw materials like purge are shredded into pellets. So this was actually some uh, some polyester t-shirts that uh, that we ran through the process and made pellets of. It's just get it into a form that the process can effectively and efficiently handle so that it can flow effectively into the reactor. Materials like what you'd put in your curbside recycling bin have to go through a different process. They're ground into flakes and put through what's called a sink float process to sort out plastics for two different processes. After all of that, Eastman's methanolysis plant breaks the plastic down into its main component, dimethyl terephthalate, or DMT, and eventually rebuilds it into new plastics. This will be sold as Triton Renew. And so these pellets are what go into, say, your Nalgene bottle or goes into the packaging of the lip oil or, or vice versa. Developing that process may have been costly, but Eastman executives say it's worth the billions of dollars that they invested. Really, Eastman is, is doing something brand new here and showing the world what's possible. What we're doing here in Kingsport is good for the environment. It's good for our customers and it's good uh, for the community that we live in. Already, the company is working to get the community more involved, launching collection bins at select food city locations. But with plants coming online in Longview, Texas and Normandy, France, it's Plastics also, Division uh, President Scott the Ballard says they're the aiming to impact the industry as a whole. And the more success we have, the more people will follow us, the more Plastic waste will be diverted from incinerators and landfill. Reporting in Kingsport, Katherine Simpson, News Channel 11. Tonight at 11, we'll take a look at how Eastman's new molecular recycling facility could have an impact on the way we recycle right here in the Tri-Cities. You can read more about Eastman's molecular recycling on our website, WJHL.com.